Ah, art smitten. When a laugher meets a laugher, it's love. And it wasn't a one-way street between Smarty and Marlow. Marlow schooled him about how Proust isn't about dipping cookies into tea or kissing mom goodnight. It's about time travel. The title says it, in search of lost time. Proust's time is circular, doubles back on itself, pings, pongs, echoes. Proust's writing is meticulously painterly, a concentrated juxtaposition of visual language to evoke a visual response. And the magic of it, when you read Marcel's story, what flashes before you is your own life. Marlowe sees Cindy Hansen in a madras shirt, seventh grade, slow dancing to In My Room, a party in someone's garage, not sure if he's dancing with Cindy or someone else, but her yellow hair and shirt of violet blue. He made his mother buy him madras shirts, but he had to go with her. They had to be real, guaranteed to bleed. The madras fade was badass. He heard In My Room transition to a darker melody, maybe Shostakovich's Fifth Symphony, the music cartoonish and absurd, evoking Stalinist paranoia. A mouse avoids the hammer blows of a drunken Stalin. He hears, Mighty Mouse will save the day. Then he's singing, I've lost faith, what can I do? I've lost faith, has it happened to you? I've lost faith, let it not be true, but I've lost faith. Faith or no faith, he woke up happy. His wife was infuriated. He always woke up so happy. She worked harder than he did. Why did he get to sing? Marlowe had come to the art game late, and only because of Art Smitten. Marlowe met Art Smitten before art was a phenomenon in the art world. He could separate art's public persona and the artist Smarty. Time traveler, trickster, changeling, early adapter to time bend, time twist technology with an ever-shifting, multi-directional, cueless perspective. Marlowe's mantra, any way into the mystery is a good way in. All roads are open. Trust in the miracle. But what are you making, Marlowe? Smitten asked him. A puppet show? A metaphysical box that expands into a room? A psychedelic jigsaw puzzle? He answered, if anyone asks, I'll call it a movie. But he knew a movie wasn't always the answer. All the same, Smitten warned him, call it art, no one cares. Call it a movie, people will come. Nothing is eternal if not divine. The rest is dust flickering in half-light. For Marlowe, it was a movie about art, about a dance that was a poem, that was a play, about a cabaret in a future time that rhymed with a past time, much like now, where all was weird. He was striving for a fresher art, a deeper art, searching for a door, a tunnel, a shaft, a way in, not a variation on a theme, but metamorphosis. The times demand a radical departure. Make it fresh, make it new, make it bang, bang, bang. Marlowe looked within to see without, found a nest of self-serving impulses, in his deficiencies, would others see their own? How honest dare he be? Dare he speak the unspeakable or show the unshowable? What is verboten? Said Smitten, respect later, first do the work. At the blind spot, if you suddenly pull up the shade, you can startle the play of colors across the otherwise dark skylight, dark stripes, arching upwards, red, green, blue, ultraviolet, yellow, and pink. You ask, why is the obvious so elusive? Marlowe looked deep in his glass, as if that's where the elusive answer to his question resided. Instead, he got a commercial. Fish swimming on three levels, three by three. Lucky nine, in the future that rhymes with the past, advertising is everywhere. From Marlowe's journals, this year, last year, the future, the past. What a ride, like a let-go balloon with the air hissing out as you rocket across the sky. That's what it is to party with Smarty. Returning from Smarty's party, real life seems duller and looks even more topsy-turvy. 
What if I get stuck in a time warp without my wife, my comforts? Said Smitten, it is natural to be intimidated by great talent. When the baton is in your hand, you feel inadequate to the task. Hate your own work, want to torch everything, and good chance it is all crap. If you could walk away, you would, but you can't, Marlow. So stop whining. No loser talk. Ambition, no ambition, you can't count on either. Smitten didn't encourage, discourage, voice no opinion, and yet took pains. Keep the fantasy to a dull roar. So many contemporaries, artists of the highest caliber, many of their careers were a disaster. Why should you be different, Marlowe? There's always someone younger, more beautiful, smarter, richer, more talented, better connected. With art, you just never know. Art is a wisp of smoke. Art is a puff of steam. With art, the deeper into the mystery, the deeper always to go. What is most interesting in art is what can't be explained. Art is 10,000 things. Said Smitten, the secret of art is keeping a straight face. It's not easy to keep a straight face. It wasn't easy to be Buster Keaton. You can't keep a straight face until it is art. Don't be intimidated. Take things apart, steal any spare parts. No fingerprints. Spin had the habit of speaking in Japanese koans, short, contradictory statements. Everything contains its opposite. Take yourself seriously, don't take yourself seriously. What else had Art Smitten taught him? Being a curmudgeon doesn't make you fascinating. Because no one buys your work doesn't make you a genius. And if people do buy your work, that doesn't make you a genius either. And just because no one likes your work now doesn't mean anyone will like it in the future. A mirror that only reflects back to you like Narcissus. Don't fall in love with your shadow. The mirror should function like a two-way mirror so that another can glimpse through or into as well as being able to see their own reflection. You need a community. Community makes the individual better. Every artist is alone, but no artist is a private island. Those with private islands are your clients. No shilly-shally, no stall. Have something to say and say it. Go for big leaps over deep chasms. The only thing to be is the real thing. When you think you know something, stand on your head. You'll often find what you think is most important is least important. We compete with the gods, not to surpass the gods, but to communicate with the gods. We stand on the shoulders of giants, and like dandruff, are easily flicked off. So what? You never look at art more deeply than when you are making art, said Art Smitten. The audience doesn't matter, but it helps to have an audience. Don't bore the audience, don't bore yourself, and when the art is right, you'll feel the power. You can fake it, but you can't fake it. Like Picasso said, art is a lie that tells the truth. In art, there is sleight of hand, there is flim flam, there is trickery, and that's all fine and good, but at the end of the day, you have to deliver the goods. Smitten embraced the scam and floated above the scam, and that soupçon of charlatanism was necessary to keep him from becoming too precious. Art can also be a load of bullshit. What did Art Smitten look for? The next thing, the new thing, the way forward, the further revelation. To do this, you must fight entropy and doubt. Stravinsky said, most artists are sincere and most art is bad. And some insincere art, sincerely insincere, can be quite good. Berlioz said, the luck of having talent is not enough. One must have a talent for having luck. Said Art Smitten, lucky are those with the lucky dime.